everybody. Thanks for being here. What a great day in Toronto. We are so unbelievably excited. You know, can you hear me? Hi. We are unbelievably excited to have everybody here today as we celebrate our first graduation class of seven incredible CNAs that are going to be working with us uh, at CARE One in East Brunswick. We're going to hear from a number of speakers today. Um, the first speaker that we're going to hear from is Elizabeth Strauss. And Lizzie is the Executive Vice President of Operations of CARE One. Um, and it is honestly from Lizzie and Alberto and the vision of Toya and the other senior leaders that are here from our home office. Th this, was their pro this was their vision, to have CNAs that were homegrown, so to speak, in our centers that we lay a foundation of strong values and strong uh, expectations for customer and patient care. And as you've been learning from Berlin for the last month or so, right? Um, so we're looking forward to having um, a nice, you know, short but nice ceremony and then inviting everybody to lunch. So just wanted to say thank you again and welcome uh, for some opening remarks, uh, Lucy Strauss. this value, and without her, this would not have happened today. Thank you. I would like to begin by thanking Alberto Lugo. He dreamt this nursing school up a long time ago with Baylin and put it in to works many years ago. He held on to that dream that we grow our own and educate our own. I personally witnessed when I was with him a few months back when he reunited with Balian. Oh, sorry. <laughs> His excitement and passion to create this school and formalize it in, in and actually make it work was a dream that the two of them dreamt up and put it back in place. So that paved the way for our future leaders who have now come into CARE One with an amazing accomplishment to be the first of our certified nursing assistants. After all, to teach and to grow is the story of CARE One. Alberto came to this company 18 years ago as a junior lawyer just out of law school. And today, he's not only the general counsel, my father's right-hand man, the trusted one and the respected executive vice president of Care One, but someone who represents the foundation of his company and, and inspires all of us with his loyalty and devotion that he gives to this company and to my family each and every day. Alberto Lugo is one of the many in this room with a similar story of growing with this company and her leadership roles, oftentimes ones that you could never believe upon entering this company. Tim Hodges, 18 years ago, he came to this company as an admissions director and grew into the chief marketing and strategy officer of Care One. Tim's devotion and loyalty and belief in the company is unwavering. He has grown and taught many who are in this room and with this company and has instilled in them the mission to represent Care One to the world and to show the world that we are the premier healthcare company in the industry and that we are the, at the top of the market, in this market. Sorry. 
I will humbly say that I would not be where I am today if Alberto and Tim had not believed in me and taught me and continue to teach me. I've been here for 10 years and they took me under their wing and I truthfully wouldn't be here without the two of them. Allison Fitzpatrick, who's in this room, began as a dietary aide, became an administrator, and now is the SDP of purchasing and quality of food. Toya Casper began as a CNA, and now she's our chief clinical officer, 15 years ago. So, there are many others, but that will save for the next graduation. I also would like to thank the mayor for coming today to speak, it's really exciting, and we very much appreciate it. I want to thank Tyra Fields, our Director of Nursing at Care One East Brunswick, for her leadership and direction, and also for ensuring that our first class set the standard for, standards for all future classes within Care One. so much from her as nursing assistants at CARE One. She truly is one of a kind. I would also like to thank Alan Gerstner, the administrator. Alan is relatively new to CARE One, but is a terrific leader who has a lot of great ideas and experience, and I have already seen how him and Tyra have begun to make some very exciting and awesome changes to CARE One as they continue to improve the quality of care as well as create programs to position us to be the most competitive in the market, as well as being able to be known for our quality of care. I wanted to tell all of you, all of you that as a part of the fam uh, as a part of the family owned and run company, Care One, I have such great pride in the employees and the care that we deliver. A career as a certified nursing assistant is one of the most noble careers that a person can aspire to. I believe caring for seniors is a calling that requires great compassion and caring, and really is the foundation of Care One. You're at the helm of all the care that we deliver each and every day. A wise person once said, the mark of a great society is how people treat the elderly and the children. And I agree with that. You are starting a career that impacts people's lives forever in a way that most people in the job force could not imagine. I am proud that we have assisted you in obtaining your nursing assistant license and will make sure that we not only provide an environment for you that encourages teamwork, growth and caring so that you can shine. My hope is that all of you work for Care One for many, many years and even possibly retire with us. The sky's the limit, you have to dream big. I thank you in advance for your dedication to our patients and your commitment to our company and expect and appreciate that you will provide the highest standards of care that Care One is known for. We hope that you call Care One home and I look forward to seeing all of you on the unit when I tour and I know that this will be the start of a professional life that you will offer your total fulfillment and happiness and we will be proud to call you family. Thank you. things about Care One East Brunswick is that we are the only nursing home, only skilled nursing facility in East Brunswick. Um, and we're honored to have with us today uh, the mayor of East Brunswick, Dr. Brad Cohen, who is going to uh, share a few words with us. Thank you, everybody. If you didn't know already, or certainly was able to figure out from the program, in my non-mayor life, I'm a physician. So it is a... <laughs> so it's truly an honor to be able to sit here and speak to the first graduating class that you're um, hosting here at CARE One. 
And if I think back to medical school, and I wasn't gonna do this, but it was 1986, which was the year that I graduated, which kind of dates myself, and I don't like to do that. <laughs> but when I do, if, if um, any of you were alive, uh, but in 1986 was the Challenger disaster. And I don't know if many of you recall the significance of that. You're probably thinking, where the heck is he going talking about the Challenger disaster on my graduation day? But the reason that I'm talking about that is because I think that the way we think about organizations and how we work together in groups changed fundamentally from that experience. Because when they actually looked at the disaster and analyzed what the problem was, it was a world in which the people that stood on top made decisions and everything filtered down. And unfortunately, what ended up happening was that somebody in a small department who knew that there was something wrong with the, with the, with the, with the challenger and was afraid to say what was, was actually wrong to their superiors ended up being the cause of that disaster and we lost some very, very talented people. And it fundamentally changed how we work in corporations, whether it's public service in government or whether it's in um, any other field. But most importantly, I remember that coming into medical school in the early 80s, you never questioned the doctor. The doctor was God. And, and, and it changed through the course of the next decade because we realized that if you really want to prevent errors and to really help people, you have to work as a team. No one person is any more important than anybody else. And it's often the person who's sitting with the patient day in and day out that recognizes little things that when I waltz in and out of the room, I'm not gonna see. But you need to tell me that because we're all part of a team. And at the end of the day, there is only one goal, and that is to do the best that you can for the patients that are in your care. There is no other goal. And that goal is a big one, and it's an honorable one. And so I thank each and every one of you for choosing to do what you're doing. You're doing God's work, and you're doing it as part of the team, and we all need to make sure that at the end of the day, we've made somebody's life infinitely better by having had that interaction. So I thank each and every one of you for doing what you're doing, and I congratulate you. And now we actually were lucky enough to hear from one of our graduates. Surprise. Come on, you, you knew. We told you. She makes it look, she makes it sound like I didn't give you. you you're holding a speech. That was much later. Well, Sean, if you're if you're ready, we're we're happy to hear you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have racked my brain about what I will say to you today. So on this wonderful graduation day, we are gathered together to celebrate our academic achievements. I would like to take, I would like to take this time to thank our incredible instructor, Ms. Berlin. She inspired us as, she inspired us as a class to super exceed her, expe her expectations in the healthcare field. She has taught us she has taught our class that no matter what you are going through in life, stay humble, stay positive, and never give up in yourself. Always believe in yourself. <clears throat> for this, we love you, Ms. Belinda, and we thank you from the bottom of our heart. Ms. Belinda, <laughs> right. And to my classmates, the Magnificent Seven, we ate together, we talked together, we counseled each other through tough times and genuinely cared for one another. I would like to say it is such an honor to be part of this class with an amazing instructor and an outstanding classmate. We may encounter many defeats on our way to success, but we must never be defeated. That being said to my classmates, when it is time to take care of the residents, be compassionate 
be understanding and never, ever forget what Ms. Lynn has taught us. We can't go wrong. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, I would like to have, I would like to say, I have been a CNA for 18 years and I have never, ever had a deal win like Ms. Tara Spills. <laughs> who is outstanding, phenomenal leader. I am honored to be under a leader as strong and as encouraging as Ms. Tyra. Myself and my class of 2017 sincerely thank you for all your hard work and dedication you have contributed to making this class a success. Thank you so very much. And we love you. <laughs> Last but not least, there is one CNA the class would like to thank. Her name is Miss Tiffany. Hope she is here today. She was very kind, nice, understanding to the class. She helped us feel appreciated when we did our clinicals. Tiffany, on behalf of the class, we would like to thank you from the bottom of our heart for all your wonderful helpings and making us feel appreciated. You rock, man. <laughs> To Care One, to, I'm sorry, to Care One East Brunswick corporate staff, Ashwana Johnson and my classmates would like to thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity to be part of the first CNA class of 2017. Thank you so very much. <laughs> to our wonderful, wonderful families, thank you for all your support. Thank you for supporting us on our journey of becoming a CNA. I would like to thank everyone for coming out today and taking the time out of your busy days to help us celebrate the class of 2017. Care One of East Brunswick and the classmates, let's go out there and be the best CNAs Care One has ever seen. Thank you for the time. Thank you so much. together um, really everything you see here along with our, our dietary department Jessica and I'm sure Tyra has a lot of other thank yous so I'm not going to do them all now but um, we're going to move on with our ceremony now right Tyra yeah. Before we move forward into the graduates receiving their certificates, I would be remiss as not to thank the amazing, amazing team at Care One East Brunswick. With all the department heads, please stand at Care One East Brunswick. <laughs> this is Team Go Get It. With everything else that has been going on in the building, um, I sort of, um, I I have to be honest, you guys often hear me talk about our 360 meeting, right? Everybody knows about 360 meeting, right? So you know how I get right before 360 meeting. So after 360 meeting, we come back with goals and we come back with work. And so I'm accustomed to getting emails shortly after 360 and I received an email from our chief nurse that said, you have a meeting with Bellin Soto De Leon this day. And I said, Okay, this might be way here one. Meeting, I could do that. Allison throws me in a meeting once a week. I could do that, right? So then before I knew it, we had a school. <laughs> and I didn't realize when I went to the Department of Health for the workshop, I came back to the department head meeting and I'm like, guys, we're a school. I'm the superintendent. <laughs> It just took a face of its own, but it's because of each one of these department heads that just said, we're there with you, we're standing with you, we have this. Um, we, we made it happen and they made it happen. So I love you guys and I appreciate you as a team. <laughs> to my girl, today we celebrate you and all your hard work over the last five weeks. You have studied, laughed, and even shed a few tears but today you stand, together, affectionately known as my solid seven. The certificate that you will receive today reads as follows. Certificate of completion, 
This certifies that each of you has successfully completed a 90 hour approved state of New Jersey nurse aid training competency and evaluation program offered by Care One of East Brunswick. Your certificate is dated on this day, the 9th of June, 2017, and is endorsed by your instructor, Bellin, and myself. Uh, you will also receive your certified nurse aid pin that you will wear proudly upon successful completion of your New Jersey State skills and written exam. It's not over. You still got two more tests. Tomorrow, 100%, right? I'm gonna ask, would Belen and Toya please join me on the stage? As I call your name, please join us on the stage to receive your certificate from your instructor and pinning from our chief nursing officer. Alyssa Cleaver. Casey Diggs. Deja Harper. And our crybaby, Tanisha Higgins. Sharana Johnson. Kalima Johnson. but definitely not least, Yindi Stored Gray.
While our students have worked hard and done an amazing job, we'd like to recognize the special efforts and achievements. So we have a, a couple of awards that we'd like to give. The first is our Service Excellence Award. This award is presented to the graduate that has demonstrated outstanding customer service in accordance with the Care One mission and vision statement. And this award goes to Yindi Stewart Gray. Our Clinical Excellence Award is presented to the graduate that has demonstrated outstanding patient care skills in accordance with the New Jersey Department of Health Standards of the Nurse Aid Training and Competency. This award goes to Tanisha Higgins. Our Academic Excellence Award is presented to the graduate that has consistently provided excellent grades in both the written and oral class participation. And this award goes to Yindi Stewart Gray. Enrichment Award. This award is presented to the graduate that has shown the most growth, determination, and perseverance throughout the course period. This award goes to our baby girl, Alyssa Cleaver. Alyssa's grandfather as a resident here in our in our center and last but certainly not least our most prestigious award the Lizzie Strauss leadership award this award is named after our leader and executive vice president Elizabeth Strauss and it's presented to the graduate whose personality and intellectual gifts will one day make them an outstanding leader in their future with CARE One. Lizzie, if you don't mind, would you join me to finish this award? And this award goes to Sharana Johnson. Graduates, if you would please stand with me, take your programs. Uh oh. Can I have a department head give them a program? All right, there's my blunder for the day. Sorry, I did promise you guys. Take your programs, turn to the back of them, please. Face your family members, our department heads, and our senior leaders, and repeat, as, repeat with me our graduates' pledge. On this day, On June 9, 2017, I solemnly pledge to provide safe and competent care to my residents, patients, families, and community, and to always uphold the mission and vision of CARE One. 
to Lizzie, Honorable Dr. Cohen, senior leaders, family, and friends, I present to you our first CARE One East Brunswick NATCEP graduating class. Please join me in a round of applause. Toya, our chief nursing officer, to give the final remarks. I'm sorry. And I don't normally do this before. Before I invite Toya up. Are we good? Okay. I have a big Before Toya comes up to give the final remarks, I did neglect to give one thing. You guys can have a seat. And I, I can't personally, I can't personally move on and leave this podium without thanking my husband. Yeah. I have to. I'm sorry. I know he's not a Care One employee, but he feels like a Care One employee. He picks up the program. He made the programs. He made the certificates. He picks up the awards. He he brings us food. He bought us chicken last night for our survey. He's just amazing, and without him, it would be very difficult for me to do this job. So I thank you, Toya. Care One executive leadership team to deliver your closing remarks today. What a great occasion, the Magnificent Seven. Can we give them another round of applause? I too want to take a moment to thank Tyra, Daylin, Allen, and the East Brunswick team for making this class a success. And I'd also like to thank our executive team, Alberto and Lizzie, for the vision and supporting, encouraging, and insisting that we have this class. <laughs> and I'd like to thank the mayor for joining us today for such a special occasion. Yes. So as we close, I decided to take a page from the book of the esteemed Michelle Obama and start with this. Remember that you are blessed and in exchange for those blessings, we give something back. Consider your career choice a blessing. You have the opportunity to give back every day in what you do. Your work is a service, and your service can change the world. You have each into the journey in which your service can be life-changing for those that you serve. Consider how special that is. In each and everything that you do, in this career path that you have chosen, you have the ability to change someone's life, to hold their hand in a time of need, to offer a hug, a smile, a word of encouragement, to make someone feel special, to make them feel comfortable and safe. Sometimes you're standing as a family member or confident when no one else is around. It's a privilege and a blessing to offer such a great change. Your work for sure will be hard. You'll face challenges, roadblocks, obstacles, but always remember that your work, your service makes a difference every day. Let your commitment to those people that you serve and let your heart guide you through your career and you will always be successful. As Martin Luther King said, not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great because greatness is determined by service. Thank you for choosing a profession in healthcare and welcome to our family. Congratulations. <laughs> done. <laughs> uh, bunch of serve in the back of the room. Thank you very much. Congratulations.